what's up guys i got another video today today i'll be installing some intakes because right now the car came with short rims and i don't fuck with that shit so i got some steel and gen 3s that i picked up from my boy yesterday he sold them to me really cheap i got them for 100 bucks they're not in perfect condition i mean that one's not that bad not that one either the piping in some spots you can see here is a little bent but this is not that bad uh, see that one is a little bent right there and yeah, this, one, this, one, this one's whatever so that's another reason why I got them cheap also because he was running nitrous on his car so it had these shits welded so i went to home depot and bought this screw i don't even know what size it is and it's, you can see it's right there i don't know i don't know if that would affect affect my car in any way of how it runs hopefully it doesn't but i don't think it would so i got those and yep right now i need to remove the bumper and then I'll remove the intakes. Um, guys, before working on your car, disconnect the battery because you will be disconnecting your master flow sensors. So yeah, disconnect your battery. All right, so I got the intakes off. That's really easy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make my own PCV delete right now. You know, I just gotta block off those two holes right there. These are already blocked off. I guess the previous owner, since these filters are here, did some type of PCV delete. So I'm gonna block those off since these have filters already. And that should be fine. So now I'm gonna remove my bumper and then we'll get to the install. All right, so I got the bumper off. Uh, pretty easy, there's, well for me, so all my clips aren't good. It was just one 10 mil bolt there on that side and the other side and then just the little clips that hold the bumper and that's it. Uh, make sure you save those, you don't wanna lose those. And now, I don't know if that strut bar is going to be bothering me. Hopefully not. Now I'm going to just kind of set it up. Let me see. And for sure, I'm going to have to um, cut this right here. These holes, because I'm pretty sure the pipe doesn't, end, doesn't go through there. I remember I'm oh shit. This is bothering me. It's got to be lower. I'll figure it out. That's it. All right, so I got the first set of piping on. Um, just so you know, the driver's side is the one that's straight. And passenger has this little bend right here. I've seen people that they do the other way around. It's not supposed to be like that. I'm pretty sure they had a hard-ass time with fitting with fitment trying to do it like that. So just letting you know that's how it goes. Now I'm at the other set of piping and we should be good to go all right guys so i got this side on um like i said you do need to like cut some of that you see how i cut the hole to make it bigger because if not the piping won't fit uh now i'm gonna do this side um just so you know the piping on both sides are a bit different um that one uh passenger side is more straight while this one has like so i can show you guys it's like a little tiny like bend just so you know because i tried putting this one on that side and the fitment just doesn't go just so you guys know uh so now i'm gonna cut that and i'll put this piping on um please guys if you have like a drum or something to do that it's much easier i'm using a fucking knife and it's a pain in the ass uh yeah don't do it that way <laughs> all right guys so there it is i'm pretty sure that's not i'm pretty sure that this one has to go a little bit more inside or down a bit more out but i'm gonna figure it out right now when i put the filters on and see how it looks uh, again you gotta cut this hole where the intake tubing goes in i moved my ac lines to the bottom so it's all good there um so i'm gonna try the filters now and see what's up yeah, so i got the filters on um this side looks good but this side i don't know to me it just looks weird unless it's just like that this side looks really good. 
on this side like it looks like it's too out but here the piping is almost touching already with each other so and this can't go back anymore so i'm guessing this goes like that doesn't look too bad those filters do look dirty they do look really dirty I don't know if AutoZone sells a cane in. But fuck it, I'll just run that. Eventually, um, I'm gonna upgrade to Velocity Stacks from Z1. So, whatever. Uh, now I'm gonna get the Master Flow sensors on. And tighten everything, make sure there's no leaks. Put everything back together and give you guys a startup. Alright, guys, so I got my Master Flow sensors on. And those two holes that were open, I blocked them off. So I have a PCB to leave now. Oh, there's a video on on my channel, a few videos down where it shows you how to do a delete. If you guys wanna check that out. So now I'm gonna put back the bumper and I'll start it up. All right guys, so she's on. Everything seems fine. I made sure everything was tight, no leaks. No check engine light. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, I didn't put a stock muffler on because that muffler delete was disgusting. It was too loud for me. I don't like that shit. So I put a stock muffler on. Got rid of that. So there she is, idling. Everything's good. Um, if you want these, hit me up. I'll sell them for a hundred bucks. Ship. They'll come with heat shields. I have a heat shield for them. The other shoes. Um, I'm gonna go for a test drive, but first I'm gonna put everything away and then I'll go for a little test drive right now. Alright guys, I'm gonna do a 40-year-old pull. One hand. 